Look how silly this is getting. Welcome to space and a whole new perspective on our planet below. Like a West Country AI here. At Space Perspective, we've developed the world's first carbon neutral spaceflight experience. We've completely reimagined human spaceflight to be as gentle on our Earth as it is on our explorers. Yep, you heard it right. They've a reimagined spaceflight for you. So you can now go to space in a balloon. <laughs> Spaceship Neptune is designed to be the most accessible way to travel to space. With no rockets, heavy G-forces or training required, it's as easy as being on an airplane. The spacecraft features a pressurized capsule that accommodates eight explorers and a captain, and a space balloon which propels the capsule to 100,000 feet at cycling speed, about 12 miles per hour. I hate to break it to you, but 100,000 feet doesn't even come anywhere near the official Kármán line, which is supposedly where space begins, which is, what, 62 miles, I believe, off the top of my head? 100,000 feet's just under 20 miles. You're way short of the official story regarding space. And bearing in mind, space in itself... That is a vacuum residing next to an air pressure system without some kind of solid wall to separate those two from each other. That's impossible. You need solid separation. So no one goes to a vacuum anyway. And they're spelling it out now, telling you it's just high altitude space, whether it be on planes, balloons, and do people get on rockets occasionally? I don't know. I've got mixed thoughts about that. But here now, you can go to space on a balloon. Never mind the fact the balloon's 40-odd miles below the official line of where space supposedly starts. You go on a space. The flight experience will last six hours from launch to landing. Spaceship Neptune ascends two hours to Apogee, where it will remain for another two hours as explorers enjoy a 360-degree view of our planet through the largest windows ever flown to space. When returning to Earth, the spacecraft descends another two hours until it reaches the ocean for a gentle landing, thanks to our patented splash cone, which attenuates if anyone sees any curve and this thing actually happens, we all know a curve will be optical and not physical. Any supposedly seen will be optical, not physical. That's not my opinion. That's a scientific demonstrable fact. Look at the windows on this thing here. They're like an eyeball here, this, this cabin. And you've got curved windows so if this is real and anyone does go up any so-called curvature is going to be optical whether it's down to your eyes or the viewing device or the windows or whatever you're looking through it's the splashdown and stabilizes the capsule while explorers are in flight they'll be able to walk around comfortably in our cabin which is far different from the stark white aesthetic of modern spacecraft. Inside, you'll find Wi-Fi and all the amenities you'd expect in a first-class space lounge, including a world-class culinary program and bar. There's also a bathroom, the world's first space spa. Oh, I'd like to see your design there of your toilet. Because NASA, they really messed up with theirs. But hey, that was a different video. At Space Perspective, we are driven by a desire to share the transformative power of space travel with as many people as possible.
I hate to break it to you, lovely West Country lady, AI, chatbot, whatever you are, but you keep saying space. But your balloon, if it does go up, only goes up 20 miles. Yet space doesn't begin till 62 miles. So stop lying to your viewers and your customers by keep citing this as going to space. It's going nowhere near the official boundary and start of space. And that's, that's putting aside the fact that this space, this vacuum place, doesn't reside next to us an air pressure sphere. It doesn't exist. So if there is a vacuum, there would need to be some kind of solid separation. That isn't my opinion. That's a fact that can be tested and verified by all. Just saying pressure gradient doesn't change the fact that what I've stated is a demonstrable fact. Now you've got to demonstrate a pressure gradient fading out into a vacuum. Good luck with that. astronaut experience will radically shift one's perception of our world and our place within it we call ridiculous this the space perspective and we look forward to sharing it with you i call it utter fucking nonsense you've lied to your viewers you're lying to your customers I noticed we got some one-eyed symbolism there as well to top off this silly pantomime of stupidity. Your balloon goes up, if it does go up, to 20 miles and you're claiming it's going to space, even though the official line start of space is 62 miles. It's a joke. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're a believer of the mainstream, Start asking yourself, why are you being mocked by the very people you're trying to defend? They're embarrassing you. This is embarrassing. Balloons to so-called space. They're lying left, right and centre. The stories don't add up. There's no science for the global theory. Only lies and misrepresentations and attacks of straw man things. That these clowns, these propagandists try and pin on you. It's ridiculous. And then you look at what's coming, the future of space. It's fucking balloons.